Kia ora Akonga. Um, in this video we're going to look at how Google um, can store information in such a way that it can find it quickly. We know how Google works really quickly and we need to look at how that happens and how databases um, store information in a clever way. So the first thing we're going to do is create a, a, a place where there's lots of information called a database. Okay. So to do that we under variables we need to go down to the make a list button and we click it and we call it database all right and it's for all sprites over the whole app needs to know about the database we um, so we click OK um, and that creates a database list um, and then I've created a bit of code here you can copy that deletes that everything off the list in case there's stuff there and then repeats ten times that it's going to add and you have to drag on the list commands down here it's going to add a random number from 1 to 50 so you need some green code there to the database and it's going to do that 10 times with a little gap between each number so we can see it happening. So here we go, I'm going to click the fill list and there you go, 10 random numbers. Now one of the tricks that Google likes to do so it can find things quickly is quickly get those sorted into order because it's much easier to sort to find things if everything's in order. So now we need to look at what code you can do that will take a random list of information or websites that Google finds and get puts them into order or alphabetical order or number order. So to do that what we're going to do is call it is called a bubble sort. So I'm just going to click this button and it will play an animation for how that works. So here we go. Click. What it does is it works down the list and you can see if the the number the second number it's looking at is smaller than the one before, it swaps them over. If they're not, it leaves them. So it's doing a pair at a time. Now when it gets to the end, it still hasn't got the list in order. So what it does is it starts the list again. If, there, if it's done some swapping, it will start the list again and it will repeat the same pair comparison and it will swap them over. And it keeps going down the list until it's done the list without any swaps. And that's how it knows that it's in the correct order. So you can see in the code here, set swaps to nothing. Repeat until swaps is zero. So I've got a variable called swaps. Set in this list, check, you set it to the swaps to zero to begin with. You set the pointer at number one at the top of the list. And then you broadcast the message to check the list. Now that's just once because it's going to repeat that until it doesn't do any swaps. So this is just one checklist in this broadcast. So then we broadcast that command to check the list and this is how it checks the list. It repeats until the pointer is at the bottom of the list, the length of the database. Now we can drag that in from our database code. We can down here it says length of the database down here. We need some green in here because we're comparing where the pointer's got to, the, where it's got the arrow's got down to the number and the, we're comparing it to the length of the list. So we change pointer by one straight away. Now that interestingly now makes it that the we're looking at number two. We're looking at the second number. All right, and it says set this number to what you're pointing at. So that would here would be number two, that would be number 49. Set the number before to where you're looking minus one. So that's the one before. So we're now looking at 49, and we're now also we know what the number before is, 41. Then you simply ask the if question. If this number, which is 49, is less than the one before, then we replace the one we're looking at. Um, we replace the one, sorry, we replace the one before with the one that we're looking at, and we replace the one we're looking at with the one before. So we swap them over. Can you see that? So we have to use the replace code, and we're doing where we're looking at minus one, which is the number before, with this number that we're looking at and replace what the one the number 49 there with the number before 41. Now in this case they're actually already in the right order so they wouldn't be swapped. You know 49 is not smaller than 41 so they wouldn't actually be moved and then if they do get swapped over it just adds to the swap number so we know that it's not in the right order yet. And then I've put a little gap in so we can see it happening. And then it put, moves the pointer onto the next number. So it changes the, what it's pointing at to the next number. That's number 3. That's 19. Then it will reset the two numbers it's looking at, the 19 and the 49, um, and the one before. And then it says if the 19 is less than the 49, then it's going to swap them over. And in this case, it would. 
So when I press go, you'll see that 19 swap with the 49 as the first swap. Then it just says add, add to the swap number, so we're counting up the swaps in case we get to the end of the list and we haven't done any, because then we know it's in the right order. So here we go. Bubble sort, you'll watch it happen on the screen as it goes down the list and then down the list again and then down the list again until it doesn't do any swapping. Here we go. There you go, you can see those bigger numbers being pushed down the list as it swaps them and swaps them. You'll also see the small numbers being swapped over by pair by pair as it, every time it goes down the list until that two makes it all the way to the top. You can see that? There you go. So it only does that by going down the list over and over again until it doesn't do any pair swaps. So there's some pretty grown up looking scary code for you to have a go at. So I just want you to put piece that together so that you've created a bubble sort. Um, in the next video, we'll then look at how Google then can so quickly find what we're looking for now that it's in correct order. Kia ora, and there's your bubble sort um, code.